All right, in this video, I'm going to compare the CPU rendering capabilities of my old CPU, the Ryzen 9 3900X, versus my new CPU, the Ryzen 9 9950X. Now, obviously, the uh, 9950X is going to be quicker. That's a given, but we want to see how much quicker. Now, this scene right here is a scene I built as my own benchmarking scene, and it's available. I will put a it's available for anybody to use. I will put a link to it in the description of this video. All right, now the default settings is set to 4096 samples. Since I'm going to we're going to be using the CPU in this, I'm going to change this down to 1024. That way it's not taking 3 hours to render. Cuz this is actually a pretty heavy scene. All right. Now I'm going to change this to CPU and change this one to CPU. Render image, render image. Let me open up Task Manager on both of them. And again, just for context, I am using mouse without borders. That's how I'm able to go from one desktop to another seamlessly like this. It will take uh, somewhere around somewhere around 18 minutes for this one, and it looks like it's going to take about 40 minutes for this one. So I'm going to fast forward starting now. All right, they both finished, and as you can see, the 1950, pardon me, the Ryzen 9 9950X did it in 18 minutes and 43 seconds, whereas the Ryzen 9 3900X did it in 42 minutes and 22 seconds. Now, that's, that actually surprised me. The uh, 9950X is more than twice as fast when it comes to actually rendering. I didn't think it'd quite be that that much quicker, but anyway, now I want to do a test just for fun. I want to change this over to GPU, both of them over to GPU, and here are the GPUs in this machine, which is a 3070, 3060, and a 30 and a 2060 Super. I'm going to have all of th all three of these that is going to be up against this single 3080 Ti. I just want to see what happens. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close these and make sure my settings are the same real quick and render image, render image. Even though I started this one first, this one actually started. See how much quicker it built the scene before it actually, it sent it to the GPU way quicker. That's a big benefit of having a more powerful CPU. It can prepare the scene and send it to the GPU way quicker. Now, this uh, 30, uh, pardon me, 2060 Super, it's actually being used. It doesn't register correctly because I'm only I'm using a single lane riser cable for it because that's the only way I can physically fit it into the machine. But it's working just fine. But that would have caused a little bit of a delay because a single 3.0 lane it can only send one gigabyte per second, and this is 1.3 gigabyte scene, so it would have took an extra second, second and a half, just to prepare the scene. But it actually took more like seven seconds longer. Yeah, these uh, G this one's going to finish first because you got three GPUs working on it instead of just the one, but that's not bad. I use this machine for creating my projects and then I primarily use this one for rendering. I will render some with this, but for the most part I just use this one. Alright, this one will be done in about 15 seconds. Oh, 
Oh, right, not bad. Two minutes and 29 seconds with three GPUs working on it. And this one's going to be a little over three minutes, it looks like. But look at the temperatures on this uh, 3080 Ti, 58 degrees. That's a very nice, cool running GPU. Alright, it's got about five seconds left. Not bad for one GPU, three minutes and 18 seconds. Now, I can actually optimize this scene to make it render a little bit quicker, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up um, the old Blender uh, BMW benchmark scene, just for fun. And I will set this to CPU. Again, 3900X, 9950X. We'll start this one first. Render, image, render, image. Seventeen and a half seconds for the 9950X, which is not bad at all for CPU rendering. Forty-one seconds. So you're talking again more than twice as fast. All right, I'm gonna open up uh, another one and. Uh, the junkyard scene, we'll do that one. File, open. And I'm gonna change this to CPU. CPU, render image, render image. And in a surprise to no one, the 9950X finished first. 19.8 seconds, or 19.9. And 44 seconds. Once again, more than twice as fast. All right, let's uh, try one last one, and then we'll call this video quits. Uh, this is, I, I'm not, I don't remember which one this is. I put it in there for this test, but I don't remember what it is. File, open, no, don't save. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen this one, actually. Warning, what was the warning about? Anyway, uh, let's see. Chain, CPU, CPU. Well, let me do this one first. Render, image, render, image. And once again, surprising to no one, the 9950X finished first. 29.1 seconds. And once again, it's gonna be more than twice as fast as, the 9950X is gonna be more than twice as fast as the uh, 3900x one minute three seconds versus 29 seconds all right now i guess that's going to be it for this comparison um, if you have any tests you'd like me to compare these two or whatever let me know i guess that's it later people